Hi, welcome to my channel, Wailani Creations. My name is Wendy, and today we'll learn how to make these earrings. Basically, we'll learn how to make the heart, and with a few modifications, we'll have three different pairs of earrings. Tools wise, we'll need this chain nose plier, round nose plier, wire cutter, and a nylon jaw plier. We will also need this round shaping tool to help form the round part of the heart. Let's start by making this pearl earring first. To make this earring, I am using 4mm pearls. And these pearls have a 1.4 mm hole size. And that's why I like using these pearls because the hole size is really big and easy to work with. We will also be dangling a teardrop on the bottom of the heart. You can use any teardrops you want. I happen to have these pearl teardrops that I really like. For this heart, we'll be using 18 gauge wire. Um, this wire here is 3 inches long. You can also use 20 gauge. Uh, the reason I am using the 18 gauge is because my pearls have a big hole size and it fits through the 18 gauge. But if your pearls are smaller or the hole size is smaller, then you can use the 20 gauge wire. And we will be using a 24 gauge wire to wrap around the teardrop. This wire here is 6 inches long. We will start by straining the 18 gauge wire with a nylon jaw ply. Next, we will fold the wire in half, bending it in the middle. So I have 3 inches of wire here, so I will be bending it at the one and a half inch mark. I start off by bending it with my hand, and then I will use the nylon jaw plier to bend it further. I'm using the nylon jaw plier because I don't want to scratch the wire too much, but it doesn't really bend it all the way, so I eventually did use the chain nose plier to close up this wire here, squeezing it all the way together. Next, I will form the round part of the heart, so placing the wire on this round shaping tool and bending the wire around it. You see how this part is still sticking out? I will use the nylon jaw plier to push it in. Now the wire looks kind of like a candy cane. We will open up and unfold the wire. It looks like an M or also kind of like a heart. We will now add pearls to one side of the wire. I am adding 7 pearls to my wire, but if your pearls are bigger or smaller, you will add more or less than 7 pearls. We have some space here to form the loop. I have a little bit more than one fourth of an inch here. So now I am using a round nose plier to form that loop at the end of that wire. Now we will add 7 pearls to the other side of the heart. Next, we will use a chain nose plier to open up the first loop that we made and we will put the other wire through that loop. Now we close this loop back up and we will start creating a loop on the other wire. This part is a little bit hard, um, especially now that we added the pearls to the wire, it does make it a little bit slippery. We will use a round nose plier to create the loop on the other wire. As I mentioned, it is a little bit trickier now. As you're creating this loop, you'll want to keep pushing the wire and the pearl down so that there's more um, space for you to create the loop on this end. Now that we are done with this heart, we will work on the teardrop. This is the 6 inch 24 gauge wire that we prepared. We will create two small loops at one end of this wire with this round nose plier. The loops are to help the teardrop stay in place and not fall through the wire. Now put the teardrop through the other end of the wire. Now place the round nose plier on the wire that is slightly above the teardrop, forming a circle above the teardrop and then wrap the wire around the teardrop about 10 times. Just going in circles, layer by layer. For the last two circles, I brought the wire back to the top just right beneath the loop. Now strain up the loop slightly using a chain nose plier, just cleaning it a little bit. 
Now we will cut off the extra wire and then using a chain nose plier, we will push in any wire that is sticking out. To connect the teardrop to the heart, we will use a chain nose plier to open up the loop on the bottom of the heart. And then place the teardrop through it. And then closing the loop back up with the chain nose plier. We want to tighten the loop and close it off all the way so that the teardrop doesn't thaw out. Last step is to connect the heart to an airing hook. We'll open up the loop in the airing hook. We will place the airing hook between the second and third pro on the side where the teardrop is dangling from. Close the loop on the airing hook and this pro heart airing is done. Next, let's make this Valentine's heart airing. For this airing, we'll be using a 20 gauge wire. This wire is 3.5 inches long. And we'll be using this Pink Crush Miyuki mix from thebeatmix.com. The size is 11. And I will be connecting three strands of chain to this airing. The chain here I have is from Michaels. The steps are very similar to the first heart that we made, so we will speed through this a little bit. If this is too fast for you, please refer to the first heart that we made. Again, we will bend the wire in the middle, so at 1 and 3 fourth inches here. I will start by bending it with my hand, and then I will close it all the way using a chain nose plier. Next, we will form the round part of the heart on this round shaping tool. For this part that is sticking out, we will use the nylon jaw plier to push it in. Since this is 20 gauge wire, it is easier to work with than the 18 gauge wire we used for the first heart. Next, we'll open up the wire and you can see the heart shape is starting to form. Now we will add this Pink Crush bead mix to one side of the heart. I will add links in the descriptions to where I purchased my materials. I have added the seed beads, again leaving enough space to create a loop on this end of the wire. So we'll use the round nose plier and create that loop. Now I will bend the wire back slightly to make the loop rounder. Now we'll add beads to this other side. I've added the beads, again leaving just enough space on this end to create the loop. Starting from here, the steps are different from the first heart. With this heart, I am creating the loop here instead of putting this wire through the first loop. Next, you want to push the two wires together to start forming that heart. Since this is 20 gauge wire, the wire does bounce back a little bit, so you'll want to keep pushing it together until it kind of stays in shape. We will also add a jump ring to help keeping it in this shape. For the rest of this airing, we'll need to use 4 jump rings. You can use store-bought jump rings or make your own jump rings. To make your own jump ring, you will use some 20 gauge wire to do that. We will also need this 6-in-1 tool. Uh, we will use the smallest circle in the 6-in-1 tool to form the jump rings. Place the wire on the tool, uh, close up the tool, and then start pulling it around in circles, forming 4 circles total. Next, cut off the wire with the wire cutter, and then we'll be using the wire to cut off each circle. I'm not exactly sure how to put this part in words, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a little bit of extra wire here, so I'm just cutting that off. And here are the four jump rings that we just made. Take the first jump ring that we made and connect it to the X part of the heart, the part where the two wire crosses. This will ensure that the heart stays closed and not pop back open. Next, add one of the chains to that jump ring and then close the jump ring. Now we'll add chains to the two loops on the bottom of the heart. So let's open this first loop here. Add a chain and then close the loop. 
Again, you want to make sure that the loop is closed all the way so that the chain doesn't fall off. Now let's add a chain to this last loop. So we'll open it with the chain nose plier, add the chain, and then we'll close it back up. Again, making sure that it's closed all the way. Now we are ready to add the jump rings to the top of the heart to connect the earring hook. Place this jump ring on one side of the heart on the top. We don't have to place this jump ring on its exact spot yet because it can be shifted around. The seat bead on the heart makes it slippery and hard to get a grip so I'm having a hard time closing this jump ring. Now we'll place the next jump ring on the other side of the heart. Now this third jump ring to connect the first two jump rings together. You'll want to bring the two jump rings closer to each other so it's easier to connect them together. Last step is to connect this earring hook to the earring. Alright, we have completed our second earring. This last set of earrings, I will not be going over them step by step because you really do just make the hearts the same way we made the first two. In fact, it is the same step as the pearl heart. Instead of adding pearls, I added seed beads and instead of connecting a teardrop on the bottom, I connected hearts to it. The heart sizes on the left earring are all different sizes, going from big to small, and the hearts on the right earring are all the same size. And here are the wire links I used for each of the hearts. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!